just going to take a quick moment to show you how to go through some of the using of uh, Microsoft Word 2011 for the Mac in order to get parts of Assignment 1 done. What I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use uh, the headings within Microsoft Office in Microsoft Word to get an automated table of contents. Then we'll do a cover page and we'll do some page numbering before I move on to the next video. This video, you, this essay I have on my screen, you can tell that I've already got heading, heading 1 uh, formatted as a style. So I look on the Home tab in Microsoft Word and I, oh, there we go, there's my Home tab. <clears throat> and I can see that I have different styles. Your screen might look a little different than mine. It depends on whether you've got your screen wider or narrower. You can see that that window becomes a little bit different depending on what you're trying to look at. So I've got these different headings available. I can scroll left to right or I can just click on the gallery and I can see all of the headings in the gallery. So I've got heading one. Down here I've got heading two. And if you didn't see it before, then now Heading 3 would show up in your essay uh, because it, they don't come available until I use the other heading. So I'm going to turn this into uh, another Heading 2. And I'm going to use that to create an automatic table of contents. So I'm moving back up to the top of the document. And uh, I can do that just by moving all the way to the top of the document using the cursor keys. But I'm going to go to this tab called Document Elements. So on the Document Elements tab, there are a number of ways that you'd be able to find a table of contents. You can find the cover page, a way to make blank pages, and you can insert the header and footer, page numberings, footnotes and endnotes, APA references, and here's some other referencing ideas that you'll be using for assignment um, one, assignment one. So we do have some other text elements here. We've got word art, we have math equations, and a bunch of stuff. You would normally find that in Word under Windows under the insert menu. And you can actually see here, don't forget that Word for Mac actually has menus up at the top of the screen. And if you're looking for anything under Windows, you probably can find it here by looking in Mac under the insert or the format tabs or menus, just uh, so that you can find things a little more uh, differently. So I've already got some topics added in my table of contents. So under document elements, I can actually just choose one of these tables of contents. And I'm going to choose this first one, although there is a gallery that you can choose from. Automatically, I have using Excel, menus, and spark lines all nicely indented. We have a leader, a tab leader. That's what the, uh, the dotted leader, that's what that means. So I didn't have to go in there and type the little periods automatically. Nobody does that unless they don't know what they're doing. You can actually just add in automated table of contents that way. So in order to do that, you have to use headings or else nothing shows up in your table of contents. So now I'm going to go back to the top of the page. I'm going to insert a cover page also on the Document Elements tab. So I can click on Insert the Cover, and you'll see that there's a lot of different ones you can choose from using this gallery. I'm going to choose this one, and I wait a second, and it pops in. So now this is the first page of my essay under Word uh, 2011 for Mac. So I can type in that it's uh, actually about using Excel. And the subtitle is uh, not important right now. And you see that it automatically puts my name at the top. And I can scroll down a little bit. There's a picture there that I can uh, format and alter and play with in the background. Now, on this eight page here, I'm actually at the bottom of my document. I'm going to scroll my window up so you can see a little bit more about what's going on. And I'm going to insert a page number. Now, under the document elements tab you can see that I have the page number option under headers and footers there's my page number I can just make it appear in the lower right hand corner I can go to format continue from a previous uh, section I can change the layout and I can have them start at specific numbers and I'm just going to leave it that way hit OK and hit OK and now this ends up being page 2 so my cover page starts off as page 1 but it doesn't have any page numbers on it which is actually a very useful feature at the moment, the way we have it set up. But now, these papers, this information is all on page uh, 2, but my table of contents still says it's on page 1. And in fact, what I want to do is I'm going to insert my uh, cursor at the table of contents, actually before my essay. Don't select any of it before you do it, but I am actually going to insert a page break, which is the first one here under page breaks, again on the document elements tab. So it actually groups all the document elements in one area, which is kind of nice. And then you choose a page break, and that moves the table of contents onto its own separate page. So now my information or my paper is really on page 3. So I go back to my table of contents, and I'm going to make one other change to my document here. I'm actually going to find this line. I can just put my cursor key there, hit enter a couple of times, and I'm talking about the edit menu. And I'm going to call that Heading 1. 
I've just added a new item in this part of the essay. I've just added a new subtitle, so I'm going to format it to be heading 3. And as soon as I had the heading 3, you can see the heading 4 moves in there. So now I've made some changes. I have different page numbering, and I've made some extra headings inside my document. And if I scroll back to my table of contents, it still says everything's on page 1, and I have missing items now. So I'm actually going to select that, and I can see that there's a menu item here, and I can update the table of contents. Or if I go back to the document elements area up at the top, I can update the table of contents there. So this feature is exactly identical in Word and uh, for Windows and on a Mac, just click Update Table, and it will ask me if I want to update the entire table or just page numbers. So I'm going to choose Entire Table because I added that third subheading. So now I have a subheading, and it actually uh, it jumped back to that page by default because that's what it does in the Table of Contents. So now I have an automatically formatted f Table of Contents with proper page numbering, and if I add more pages and more subheadings and headings, then I can simply come back and update the table of contents automatically. And the final thing I can do is I, uh, and that's it. That's it. So what we've done is we've inserted a table of contents, we've added a cover page, and we've updated the page numbering and inserted page numbering into the footer. And that's how you do that in Microsoft Word 2011 for Macs.